Hey, real quick before we get started with the episode, I did forget one thing. My bad. Normally I record these seasonal events after I've done them on my main account with my partner, but that got flipped this time. I recorded and then did it on my main with my partner. So I did miss one thing that I wanted to show real quick before we get started. Uh, namely, we have some lore from the Starlight Celebration Crier, and we have the Starlight Supplier who will sell some items for us. All right. Happy Starlight Adventure! If you have any questions regarding the celebrations this year, you need but ask. Uh, so what is the Starlight Celebration? The Starlight Celebration can be traced back to ancient Ishgard. Long ago, a terrible battle claimed countless lives, leaving thousands of children orphaned in the harsh cold weather of Kurthis. Unbe unable to bear their suffering, Ishgardian knights would offer these children bro uh, board and lodging within their barracks. Of course, this was expressly forbidden, but the knights devised a plan to sneak them in, disguising the children in jackets of their scarlet uniforms. Owing to their generosity, the children survived the winter and lived to pay for the kindness they had received. The former orphans would adorn themselves in scarlet uniforms, delivering gifts to children on the coldest week of the year. Thus, the Starlight Celebration was born. Over the years, the celebration has undergone gradual changes. The snowy bearded captain of the kind-hearted knights has become known as the Saint of Nymea and the children believe that he delivers their hopes and prayers directly to the goddess herself. Similarly, his red-jacketed knights have become the saint's little helpers. They are particularly beloved by the younglings, for it is their role to bring gifts to every child who sends a prayer to the spinner. I really like that lore! That's a great backstory for a Starlight Celebration! And what's your task in all this? My scarlet-clad colleagues and I have been charged by the Adventurers Guild with running the Starlight Celebration. The festival spans the entire realm of Eorzea, and we have little helpers stationed in the cities of Gridania, Limsalominsa, and Ulda. We even have participants from Charlian this year, an associate professor and his talented reindeer, who is said to possess the power to create miraculous glamours in the presence of children. In fact, I believe they were just recently seeking a certain adventurer's assistance to help spread cheer throughout Gridania. If you have any inkling as to who that is, be so good as to speak with, uh, speak with Lorenzen. All right, that's it for the lore, and let's go ahead and check out the Starlight Supplier who can sell us various magic prisms, which will be basically, uh, glamours. Similar to the glamours we got during the Halloween event, All Saints Wake. Uh, you can also buy an illuminated tree, which is furnishing for a house, but we don't, we're not doing player housing, so... All right, let's go ahead and check out these prisms, these magic prisms real quick. We've got sunshine. It's just shiny. And we've got stardust. Oh, that's kind of pretty. All right then, on with the main episode. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where today it is time for the Christmas seasonal event, the Starlight Celebration, starting out here in Old Gridania at Miketo's Amphitheater. Let's get started. Hello there, I'm Garanji. How's it going this Starlight Celebration season? Angaranji is looking for an adventure filled with starlight cheer. Happy Starlight! You are an adventurer, are you not? I am Angaranji, a starlight celebrant. It is a pleasure to meet you. And may I say you've come at a most opportune moment. You see, we are planning some truly extraordinary festivities this year, but are presently short-handed. It's no good, Celebrant. We will require the aid of an adventurer after all. Well, good news! I happen to be here! Oh, dare I say she is an adventurer, and you have already made the arrangements? Allow me to introduce Associate Professor Lorenzen of the Studium in Charlian. His are the festivities for which I'm hoping to secure your assistance. Lorenzen, fa uh, Faculty of Folklore. Delighted, I'm sure. Uh, we haven't actually met too many people from Charlian or really heard much about them yet, but many of the Scions are actually from that area. I believe they have mentioned that. They probably mentioned that when we were first introduced. But a lot of the Scions do hail from that area, and that's all we know at this point. Without further ado, then, I shall test your knowledge of the season. First question, what creature symbolizes a starlight celebration? 
Um, hmm. Could it possibly be the uh, reindeer standing next to you? Because that's how you walk up with it. An easy question, was it not? I apologize if I insulted your intelligence. Indeed, the answer is reindeer. Ah, uh, the joke Yeti? Answer down there is great. I believe a Yeti was involved in last year's 2021 Starlight Celebration. From gifts to garb, Starlight Paraphernalia is often emblazoned with or designed in the image of these noble creatures. Now for my second question. When did the Starlight Celebration begin to make use of the symbolism? When? You mean to say it was not always so? No indeed, any mention of reindeer is conspicuously absent from the tale which inspired the celebration. Thus did I take it upon myself to delve into the truth of the matter. And after a many a moon scouring literature, I discovered telling testimony in an ancient Ishgardian tome, which spoke of reindeers that amused younglings with delightful illusions. It was this spectacular act that earned the reindeer their starlight celebrity, I posit. And in order to prove my theory, I have journeyed to Gridania this starlight celebration with this trusty fellow, Blitzen. Where's, uh, where's Donner? And Rudolph and all the rest? Blitzen doesn't seem the most pleased to be here. Oh, so Blitzen can use reindeer magics? Yes, Blitzen of a, is of a rare lineage, one that leaves illusions as a defense against predators. We have been keeping him under our care in Charlian while conducting research on his abilities. It is my belief that Blitzen can trace his ancestry back to the reindeer who delighted children with illusions in the Ishgardian tome. And I intend to have him do the very same for the children of Eorzea, confirming history by recreating it, as it were. You see, no matter how much I urged him back in Charlian, Blitzen refused to produce child-pleasing illusions. But in Eorzea, where it all began with his noble ancestors, I dare to hope that he will be suitably inspired. I welcome anything that will bring cheer to our sweet children. My duties bind me here, but I believe our adventurer friend will prove a most capable assistant. Indeed, your cheery disposition tells me you are the perfect candidate for the task I have in store. Can I count on your cooperation? Sure, I'd be very happy to help. Splendid, I thank you, as will posterity, I'm sure. Now then, your role is a simple yet crucial one. Round up the children who will witness Blitzen create his illusion. I shall be at Apkalu Falls, making the necessary preparations. Good luck, and I will see you again anon. Perhaps you can begin your search along the path from the markets to the Lancers Guild. I dare say a few younglings will be out gazing at the shops and decorations. Alright, sounds like a plan. And yeah, we're still a little bit early in our travels, but I imagine the children of Gridania have already started to recognize Satora a little bit. She's done quite a bit for just Dealing with the Sylph, in the local area, she dealt with the Sylphs, made sure that we had a peaceful relation with them, which politics probably boring the kids, but the tales must have spread a little bit of between that and... Have we fought a Primal in this area? No, we have not. We've only fought Ifrit. So no, we, no Primal t no primal slaying tales, though Thanalyn is too far away. Though we did help out in the Deep Croft, which again, that's a political thing that children aren't likely to hear about, but maybe through the grapevine? I don't know. Listen, I'm trying really hard to justify it. Alright, hello there, kid! Would you like to see a reindeer do some magic? There's going to be illusions? That sounds like fun and all, but I promised my mom to help her put up decorations. Sorry. Ah, fair enough. Maybe you can get your mom to come with you and you can put off on the decorations for just a little bit? Alright, any children up this way? Looking at the map, let's see, there's one big spot up there and nothing else. I imagine both of the remaining children have to be in the same spot. 
I expected one to at least be towards the north end of the ebony stalls, but... Here we go, cautious child. Hmm, probably not gonna have much luck with you. Oh, I, uh, I was told to buy a starlight cake and hurry home. Sorry. Wow, okay. Hmm. I'm getting a little bit worried about this. Hello there, lively lad. Would you like to go see some illusions from a reindeer? There's a magical reindeer that can create illusions? Amazing! I've just finished my chore, so I'll head over at once. Yes, one of three. It's more than nothing. Way more than nothing. All right, let's get on over to Upkalu Falls and see this reindeer work their stuff. Hello there, Lorenzen. Any luck getting the reindeer to perform? Ah, you are returned. I trust a gaggle of rosy-cheeked younglings will be arriving shortly. Uh, about that. We didn't have much luck. Only this one? Ah, <sighs> this is precisely the problem with today's youth. No concept of scholarship or the virtues of ac academic inquiry. Okay, Lorenzen? They all had chores to do, according to them. I don't fully buy that, but they did apparently have errands they need to run. It's not like they're skipping out because they're not interested. According to them. I suppose this single ragamuffin will suffice. For the purposes of proof, the number of children is inconsequential after all. Blitzen, the season of lights is in full glow and a child stands expectant before you. Hearken unto the spirit of your ancestors and bring forth your delightful illusions. Yeah, I don't think Blitzen's doing it. C come now, Blitzen. Is this not the Starlight Celebration? And is that not a child wide-eyed and innocent? Bah! That's just a normal reindeer. The baby Yeti from last year was much better. Oh well. Wait! Don't leave, I beseech you! There are crucial discoveries to be made in the name of folklore, for which your assistance is paramount. It is worth pointing out that that is a child. That did not go as I had hoped. <sighs> what am I to do now? Forgive me, but I need a moment to collect myself. Amidst the calm of the Great Loam Growery, perhaps. I shall return once my thoughts are clear. Alright, now who is watching us? Hold on. They're probably long gone, but yeah, they're gone. Still, who was watching us? Also, he said he was going to the Great Loam Growery. I know we're supposed to wait here, but I kind of want to go see if we can track him down real quick. All right, I'm here at the Great Loam Growery and I'm not seeing him right off the bat. He's not down there, it looks like. and he doesn't seem to be up here either. Perhaps he's simply just not here at all. Rude, I wanted to go see him. I wanted to see how he was coping before we go wait for him at the usual, or at the spot he told us to. 
Maybe he's just outside of render distance? No, I do not believe he is here at all. All right, I'll head back to Upkalu then. Dang it, that would have been funny. All right, back here at Upkalu Falls. Let's go ahead and wait for him to get back. Hopefully he is able to either calm down or have an idea for how to get the reindeer to uh, do magic. But I suspect there simply weren't enough children. You wait patiently, but Lorenzen does not return. Perhaps you should search for- God, really? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going back to Upkalu then. Or sorry, I'm going back to the Great Lone Growery then. Ah. Alright, back at the Great Lone Growery. Let's go find where he's hiding. He wasn't here before. Don't know why he'd be here now. Perhaps he was in route and we just, I just missed him on the way. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Up on the bridge. Hello there, Lorenzen. Oh, it's you. It seems I've been here rather longer than I thought. My apologies. I've been pondering my dilemma, but I believe I've identified the roots of the problem. The children of Gridania are insufficient for my purposes. The original testimony was Ishgardian, after all, meaning that it is Ishgardian children I require. I was a fool to consider proving my theory anywhere else. There is just one problem. Ishgard is closed to outsiders. As an adventure, however, perhaps you know a way for us to enter the city? Uh, I don't think the children are the problem. Also, uh, we do go to Ishgard in the future expansion, so I'm curious if this changes on the... if you're far enough from the story. Since you are technically eventually able to go to Ishgard, uh, I will have to report back probably in the next episode with that result, because I have not done this on my main account yet. What do you mean? Apart from the testing site, what could possibly... Oh? Oh god, I didn't even... I thought you just put Blitzen in a, in a stable. You're, you mean Blitzen's actually gone? Blitzen? Where did you go, Blitzen? Blitzen? Okay, maybe it doesn't change so much. Alright, well, reindeer's gone. Bye, Blitzen. Blitzen just took off and ran. Okay, I thought you put Blitzen in a stable because I'm pretty sure there are stables over here at the growery. Lorenzen, do you have any idea where your reindeer has gone? I can't find Blitzen anywhere. Where could he have gone? God, so absorbed was I in my thoughts. I must have left him somewhere. The gods know he can't bear being alone. Oh, he must be so frightened right now. I, I must find him. Must find my dear boy. Ah, <sighs> well, I suppose I can help you track down the reindeer. Associate Professor Lorenzen is experiencing some panic. Oh, Blitzen, where could he have gone? Lorenzen is in a state of distress. All right, let's soothe him. Don't worry, we will find your reindeer. Where's Soothe? Soothe should be in the happier emotes. Here we go. <gasps> what am I doing? Blitzen needs me, and yet here I am, a blubbering mess. My apologies for subjecting you to such undignified behavior. Unforeseen circumstances have a tendency of rattling my nerves, but I am well now thanks to you. Sh I shall go and search for Blitzen at once. May I count on your cooperation once more? Of course. My heartfelt thanks. For now, let us focus on our search within the city. If you can make inquiries in the direction of Miketo's amphitheater, I shall retrace our steps back to Afkalu Falls. Quickly now! Alright, let's go find our poor Blitzen. Where have you ended up? Also, there's a quest in the area? I thought I completed all of the quests in Fredania. Oh, level 43. Okay, that's why I haven't done it yet. Have you, by chance, seen a reindeer roaming about? A reindeer? Why, yes, I saw it go dashing through the snow towards Miketo's amphitheater. Okay, well... Good news is we know the direction it went. Was there a one-horse open sleigh that Blitzen happened to be carrying? A reindeer, you say? As a matter of fact, one went trotting by the amphitheater and down the lane not long ago. Okay, past the amphitheater then.
Has anyone over here perhaps spotted a runaway reindeer? How about you? You look like you're rather focused on the snowman, but... Mmm, perfection. Absolute perfection. The very incarnation of crystalline beauty. Oh, are you talking, uh, speaking to me? Yeah, I don't think you saw anything. Did you see a reindeer? Reindeer? I can't say that I did, transfixed with this frozen masterpiece as I was. I vaguely recall having heard some clopping noise passing behind me, though. Must have been something of the sort. Okay, so definitely ran past you into New Gridania. Got it. Your eyes may have been occupied, but your ears sure wouldn't. Wor sure weren't? Speaking hard. Hi, Blitzen. There you are. You hungry? You look hungry. Oh, Adventure, have you had any luck in locating? Oh, Blitzen's right here. Blitzen, where have you been? I've been running myself ragged in search of you. Whoa! Blitzen, why do you bray so? Why to summon me, of course. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, is this Santa? And you are? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I recognize him. I am the saint of Nymea, and I have come at our antlered friend's behest to lead your misguided soul unto the soothing bosom of the starlight celebration. I will ask you plainly, young scholar, do you understand why you are unable to coax forth the legendary twinkling of this reindeer's magics? You're a nerd. I. I. So you do not know. Fortunately for you, not escapes the saint of Nymea's all seeing eyes. You see it too, the. You see it too, do you not? The reason why our scholarly friend failed? Yeah, you. You have. No Christmas spirits, unfortunately. What? Of course I haven't lost sight. All know that the Starlight Celebration is held for the benefit of... The children. So you finally understand. Indeed, the Starlight Celebration exists for the good children of the realm. This, our antler friend, knows well. But you, my scholarly friend, you were so obsessed with your work that you could only see the children as a means to prove your theory. Is it any wonder, then, that Blitzen was not minded to oblige your demands? It is as you- is it a- It is as you say, good saint. Respecting the customs one seeks to understand is basic folklorist's fieldwork. I shame my profession in forgetting it. Whoa! Whoa! My thanks for comforting me, my friend, and my apologies for ignoring your feelings. Ho ho ho, it seems my job here is done. I leave this man and this reindeer in your capable hands, Adventure. Happy Starlight to all, and to all a good night. Right, there isn't a moment to lose. Let us resume our research. Mm, forgive me, force of habit. Ahem, let us resume our celebration of this wondrous season by bringing joy and happiness to the children. What? I want my mummy! Uh-oh. Everything okay? Something's not okay? That cry of distress. It comes from the other side of the Aether Aetherite Plaza. Come, my friends! So, yes, I do recognize who the saint, uh, the, the saint of Nymea is. And... Yeah. He's... He's a character. We'll we'll be meeting him in due time. I I should not be surprised it's him, but I'm also really mad that it's him. All right, everything okay with you? What's what's going on? Oh, I want my mummy. Oh dear, distraught as she is, how are we to learn what ails her? We need to settle her somehow with sweets or perhaps her toys. Whoa. Ooh, 
how pretty! Well done, Blitzen, well done! Now we may ask after the source of her woes. Whoa! I don't know why I'm doing that voice for Blitzen, I'm so sorry. Er, greetings, little one. Tell me, what is it that troubles you? Well, me and Mummy were on our way to the markets, but but suddenly she wasn't there and I got scared. Ooh, yeah, that would be worrying. That would be scary for a kid. I see. I expect that your mother is still nearby. In which case... Is anyone missing a child? We have a lost child in search of her mother. Dude, you don't need to scream. Oh, God. Whoa! Okay, Blitzen's in on it. You know what? It's fine. Do as reindeer demands. Oh, there you are! Thank goodness! Mummy! You were there! Then suddenly you were gone! I was so scared! Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetling. I'm here now. Thank you so much for looking after my daughter, sir. Thank you, sir, and you too, Mr. Reindeer. Those shiny presents were really pretty. Yeah, you, uh... Congratulations, Lorenzen. Your hypothesis was proven. And... We also helped a child. You got your spirit of the Starlight Celebration back. So, congratulations. I think you've had a great day. What? Oh, right, I suppose Blitzen just proved my theory, didn't he? I was too concerned with helping the little one to notice. Exactly! Well, I shan't complain, seeing as we've fulfilled our objective. Shall we report back to Amgaranji? Now that your research is concluded, you should probably also just have Blitzen or work with Blitzen to cheer up all the children as well, since you know it is Starlight Celebration. All right, you know what? I'm gonna take the ether right back to Miketo's amphitheater. It's far faster, and we're right here. All right, Dom Garanji. We are back, and we had a wonderful success with the reindeer. Oh, welcome back, everyone. How did you fare in the end? Very well, I'm pleased to say. We managed to reunite a lost child with her mother, and for a happy side benefit, succeeded in proving my theory. My, my, the three of you have been busy indeed. Thanks for your help, Adventure. Allow me to offer my gratitude as well. Were it not for you, I would have remained blind to what's truly important. Whoa! Heh, <laughs> saying things as well, are you? But it seems to me you played an important role as any today. Blitzen, you are as dependable a little helper as I have ever known. It's curious, though. At first, he seemed wholly unmotivated to act, but then showed the illusion of his own volition. What do you suppose inspired his change of heart? I believe the answer is concern. In the beginning, he could tell that I held none for the children and sought only academic satisfaction. Pure of heart as he is, how could Blitzen be moved to assist me? However, when he sensed the con that the concern I held for that crying ch child was genuine, he no longer felt resistance to using his powers. Blitzen sounds like quite the intuitive fellow. I'd say more empathetic. Reindeer generally are. As herd animals, they are accustomed to sensing even the slightest shift in feeling or intent. I suppose that's fair. And this is but another theory, but I suspect that Blitzen's ancestors conjured their illusions in response to the feelings of love and kindness they sense in the people around them. Such reindeer were far more plentiful back then. Some were even domesticated to pull sleighs. 
No doubt younglings had ample opportunity to witness the same spectacular illusions we now find so precious. It is truly unfortunate that Blitz and Skin have so declined in number. But I will cherish their invaluable contribution to the Starlight Celebration. Thank you for sharing this fascinating history with us. If I was able to impart even a modicum of the passion I feel towards my subject, I will count myself very blessed indeed. Ah, but that reminds me. There is one last task for which I would appreciate your assistance. To wit, sharing Blitzen's miraculous illusions, and the joy they inspire with as many children as we can find. Speaking in the true spirit of Starlight, Lorenzen, I dare say you'll be a little helper yet. Whoa! Alright, and that gives us the end of the quest and a horn to summon a new mount. I'm very excited for this mount because it is, as you may have guessed, a reindeer. Speak with Lorenzen to accompany him on a special Starlight Celebration mission. Who knows what familiar faces you might encounter. Ooh, that makes me excited. Ooh, 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 ooh. We are definitely doing this at least a few times. Okay, first off though, we, oh, come on. We got our new mount horn, Starlight Steed Horn. Let's us summon a reindeer. Oh, that is exciting. Now then, Lorenzen, let's take care of this uh, mission at least a few times so we can see all the all the familiar faces that we've been promised. I would have done it at least once or twice anyways, but now I'm really excited. You'll accompany us then? My thanks. Our task is simple. We shall take Blitzen on a tour of Gridania and delight the children we meet with his marvelous illusions. While little helpers will be distributing presents of a more tangible nature, I believe that Blitzen's glamour will perfectly set the tone for such gift giving. Being a visitor to the city, however, I am not certain where to seek out children. May I trust you to guide us to them? I actually have a perfect idea. Marvelous! Without further ado then, where shall we head first? The leather- no, 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 no. Where? It's not here! Oh god, I was gonna say the Carpenter's Guild is actually a great place to find children because that's where the orphanage is. But I suppose... not the Leather Workers Guild, definitely not. Not the Great Loom Growery, they're a little bit uptight, I don't generally see children there, so the markets would probably be a good place. They're probably there with their parents, and I remember a few of them had to go sh I, I think at least one of them was sent to go shopping. Very well, let us go and spread some starlight cheer. Wow, reindeer are massive! Look at him! He's massive! Go on, Blitzen, show us your spectacular glamour. Wow, that's incredible! Happy Starlight, my child! This little helper has arrived with a very special gift. Oh my god, Mion, hi! My favorite! Thank you, little helper! I'm going to go and share them with my friends. Well, if it isn't Satoru Lancy, lending your assistance to the Starlight Celebration? Of course I am. As you can see, the Carline Canopy is also participating in the festivities this year. Our establishment ad uh, has adopted the Starlight Spirit with a special children's menu in addition to festive decorations. Tis the season, after all. Now, while I would love to stay in chat, I must be off. These cookies won't deliver themselves. I look forward to seeing you again at the canopy. Well, that went splendidly, wouldn't you say? The little helpers appearing when they did not only added to the children's enjoyment. And last but not least, Blitzen played his part to perfection. We shall take a well-earned rest, but we would welcome your assistance again when you feel like going on a... should you feel like going on another tour. Alright, we'll probably check out all three locations, and then we'll call that good. 
All right, then. Next up, we're going to head to... We've already done the market, so let's just go up the list. Leather Workers Guild. I don't think we'll find many kids there, but who knows? Very well, let us go and spread some starlight cheer. Oh, hello! This is my first time meeting a reindeer. Is he friendly? Go on, Blitz, and show us your spectacular glamour. Wow, it's beautiful! Happy Starlight, my dear. I have a gift for you from the Saints. Perhaps not as sensational as that reindeer's trick, but these will last longer. <gasps> Leather accessories! I love them! Thank you so much, little helper! Yeah, that checks out. Jiva, did you just see that we were entertaining a child out here and decide, hey, I should probably go out and do my job? <laughs> Darling little thing. I trust you are fulfilling your starlight duties with the diligence expected of you. Of course I am. I too have volunteered my services this year. I thought it only right seeing how much my own little ones delight, uh, delight in the season. It is remarkable how a child's smile can warm the heart. An infectious joy, if there ever was one. Anyway, I must be off. Enjoy the rest of the festivities. Genuinely did not expect that Jiva had children. She didn't seem like the type who would want children to me. But that's what you get for judging a person by first impressions. Well, that went splendidly, wouldn't you say? Yep, okay, same dialogue. Thank you so much for your help, Blitzen, and we're going to do one more of these. Alright, Lorenzen, let's do this one more time. This time to the Great Loam Growery. Very well, let us go and spread some starlight cheer. Wow, a real reindeer! I've only ever read about them before! Go on, Blitz, and show us your spectacular glamour. Ah, amazing! Ho-ho! Two for one! Indeed, much like the scent of freshly hewn cedar. Happy Starlight, youngling! We, the Saint's little helpers, have come bearing gifts one can touch as well as see. We hope you like it! I'm kind of surprised they paired... I guess it makes actually perfect sense that the Carpentry Guild and the uh, Botanist Guild would be paired up for this. Hunks of wood? It is a lumber set, child, comprised of the finest selection of timber the forest has to share. You have your soft grain maple, some supple ash, a stern oak, Cannot you hear the sympathy? Er, symphony? Uh, no, not really. Those are building blocks, my dear, made especially for you by the Carpenters Guild. Oh, I love blocks! Thank you, little helpers! Yeah, I... Th I, th I don't think the child understands. Curious that he should appreciate blocks over fine cross-sections of lumber. Puzzling indeed. Beaten, this is a child! <laughs> oh my god, you'd think for running an orphanage, you would know better! Satoru, what a pleasant surprise! As you can see, the Botanists and Carpenters Guilds are working together for this year's celebration, with the Guildmasters volunteering to be little helpers. Our gifts are a joint effort. Beaten's people at the Carpenters Guild made some beautiful blocks out of the wood my botanist gathered while tending the forest. I hope these toys sow the seed of inspiration within the hearts of our younglings, that they might grow up embracing nature. But enough of my vegetation metaphors, we have presents to distribute. Come, Timbermaster, more children await. 
indeed, and let us use that blocks just from earlier. It seemed rather effective. Oh my god, how does a man who runs an orphanage know so little about children? <sighs> Beaten. I'm so disappointed in you. Alright, and yeah, it's the same dialogue as before. Thank you so much once again, Blitzen, for your magic. And I think that concludes the Starlight Celebration for the year. So then, with that... I believe we have wrapped up everything I wanted to do today with the Starlight Celebration complete. So, next time on Final Fantasy XIV... What do you say we head back to Thanalan and continue our investigation into the whereabouts of the mysterious Asian known as La Habrea? I'll see everyone next time for that.